welcome back. So today you are probably wondering, we are not doing an in or out video. So hip hip hooray. Today, um, if you have seen my previous video, it was a three paint challenge. In that, I promised you guys to do a tutorial on the donut which I got and which I made myself. So today is that day. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe, click the like button if you like this video, and comment down below hashtag quiet club if you want to get a shout out in the next week's video, and click the bell to be notified whenever I post. Let's get started. So for the first step, we will start by making a simple circle. If you think you can't make this, you can use something as a quick base and surface, which is a circle-shaped surface. So, yeah. So the next step is you are going to make a tiny hole in the middle for the donut hole. Because donuts have holes for some reason, and I don't know why, but whatever. Don't make it too big, and don't make it too sm small, basically small. So the next step, once you have done that, is the frosting. So for the frosting, what I will be doing is just making wavy lines on, but leaving a little bit so it looks like the bun. Like that, and then connect it at the end. I will fix that. You do not want it to look like a fried egg. There we go. Kind of does look like a fried egg. Here it is. That. So, if you want, you can also make a baby line here because there is supposed to be a little bit of, like, bun left in here. So, you can do that, and I will be doing that. So the next part is one of my favorite parts, the eyes. The eyes are really easy to make depending on how you want your donut to look like. So I want mine to look happy, so this is what I like to do usually. So I am going to make oval shaped eyes, just like that. Do the same on the other side. That one's definitely a little thin. You can make circled eyes or you can follow me. And I will try my best to post a eye tutorial for different eyes and teach you how to make them. But that will be very soon because I have lots of fun stuff coming up. So this is how your eyes should be looking like. Even if they're not that even, it's okay. Next, I will be leaving a little bit of line. Just like that. That does add a little cuteness. It kind of now looks like it's sleeping, but it is not. Like this. So you gotta leave the eye a little. Next, we are going to make a big eye, and right beneath that, a smaller one. Touching this thing. I'm gonna do that on both sides. This is how it should look like. Now you are going to color this surface and leave this and the eyeballs. So let's go. I'll see you guys later once we are ready and done with that. Once I've done coloring the eyeballs, now you're probably wondering what I'm going to do with this leftover space. So I will be making lines on it. Two of those lines. And this is how it's going to look like. Like that. To add a cute effect. Now I'm also going to add like eyelashes to give it a good touch. They're going to be simple eyelashes. So they're basically some eyelashes. Like that. This might not be the original. So we're going to add a little curve. There we go. This is how yours should look like. This one is a little more lighter. So I'm going to get that dark so that's more even. Please don't get too dark. So, this is how it should look. Now time for the mouth. I'm just going to make a little smile. But if you want, you can change that to make it to anything you are comfortable with. We're going to join the donut. Make a smiley face. 
so our face is all done for our donut. Look how cute she looks. Might not be a little visible to you all. Now it is. So, and since now we have done our face, we are going to make the hands. So basically what we're going to do is make hands going like high or something like that. Then we are going to make feet. Feet is going to be pretty easy. And then tiny shoes. You can also make heels, but those will look a little too fancy. And our body is done. And finally, my second favorite part, sprinkles. That was a little too dramatic, but whatever. You can make tiny, tiny sprinkles, super easy to make. Just make like rectangles, but super tiny. And that will be looking super cute. You can make fatty sprinkles, you can make thin sprinkles, no one minds here. So, oh, this is your donut, guys. You can make a chocolate donut, you can make a strawberry donut, a blueberry donut, no one minds. Just make whatever you want, make donuts. And send it to people who can eat them because of this isolation process. This stay home, stay safe coronavirus. Coronavirus has occurred in every country. Hopefully, probably, I'm not sure, but that's what I'm hearing. My sprinkles are done. And now I will be back once it's all colored. Okay, here is the final product. Look how cute it is. So I did leave white spaces for to look like the original one, but I have a feeling I left too many. But that's okay, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to please subscribe, click the like button if you like this video, and the notification bell to be notified whenever I post more videos like this one. And please comment, Donut Squad. This donut will beg you. And hopefully you're missing donuts. See you guys later. Thank you for watching. Bye.